How's it going, lads? Nanomore here. Today, I'm um, going to try to go back to the vlogs. Um, We got a couple things to work on today. I've got a few consoles and pawn pickups I've gotten recently to show off, so let's get to work. First things first, we got one eBay order to pack. Uh, nothing too great. Um, it's one of these little Force Link controller dongles. It's for a, I think it's an actual Sony branded PS2 wireless controller is what it looked like. Um, I got this in a trade lot. I did it for a Switch, which is what some of those consoles are there for. Um, but yeah, didn't have the controllers. Couldn't find an Amazon listing for these. So eBay, it's going for like $12.99 free shipping. Cost only three to ship, so that'll be pretty easy. My eBay sales have been kind of slowing down a lot lately, especially now it's like mid-February, and that's kind of when, especially reselling and just sales in general for most people are down. Um, but yeah, my eBay store, I used to sell a lot of video game stuff. I transitioned most of that to Amazon, and it's usually like broken consoles or other weird things. So I need to, I've been working on finding more stuff to sell on Amazon. I've been doing some shoes because I kind of watched Harry Tornado a lot, and he does well on shoes, so I kind of learned from him. And those have been going okay, but they aren't the fastest sellers, but I am like building up inventory and I'm starting to see a few sales roll around, especially when I do some sales, usually they all go down. So I might be just pricing them too high, but I'm starting to learn and you know, just getting something to sell on eBay. If I'm making some money, it's good, but Amazon is my main focus. So it's not a horrible thing. I do like to sell like a couple things a day though, but we're done with eBay now. We'll work on listing hopefully something on there later today, maybe some from my Goodwill stuff, but I'll show you what I'm working on currently. So we got this Xbox One console. Um, I paid 175 for the console and all these games. This is at my favorite pawn shop in town, actually. They started calling me just when they get stuff in because they just know I'll probably end up getting it anyway or it's just easier for them just to flip it to me that same day. Whatever the reason, I'm happy. And they're usually really good at the prices. They tell me you know what they paid for, what they hope to get out of it, and I can usually do that. Um, this one actually, I paid 205 technically because it didn't have a controller. It had a bunch of wired third-party ones and I left him to sell those for like five bucks and he did already or whatever, whatever they wanted to sell them for. But they got their extra money from that too. Um, I have extra controllers. I I get a few like from either pawn shops. I'll find them, pop them in sometimes for about 30 or sometimes GameStop's Pro Day sale or other sales. They'll drop their controllers to 30. And I usually order a couple just to have on hand because... It makes it so when you have a deal like this, it's easy to grab it. But let me show some of the games. So, say the K disc only that was in the console. Um, let's see, Jan Grand Theft Auto, Diablo, Plants vs. Zombies, Rayman, Lego The Hobbit. Uh, nothing fantastic, but decent bulk games. A lot of probably $10, $15 games. So, it'd be worth to sell most of those, send them in. And console price, I've been selling Xbox One as a 500 gigabyte. I've been selling those for about 270, 280. So that alone will make the money. Then I guess the bulk profit will be in the games. But either way, it was a good lot. Um, so we're hopefully get all that tested and listed ready for Amazon today. And then hopefully work on this Goodwill stuff. I got these when I was in Billings. We got this Yoshi backpack. It was only two bucks and it seem in decent shape. I don't know if I'm going to sell this or send it to a friend of mine that likes that stuff. Um, there's also the Insanity Workout DVD set. This is $3. It sells for like 20 I think. But this one's in kind of rough shape. And I didn't open it in the Goodwill. I don't know if all the discs are in there. So we're going to see. If it doesn't, I can return it to my local Goodwill. And then a decent pair of running shoes. A pair of Brooks. Brooks is a random nose and pretty good. Especially these, uh, is there Adrenalines? Adrenalines sell okay and, uh, Go Ghost, I think is the brand. Yeah, so let's see to clean them up a little bit. I paid six bucks for these and they should sell for about 40 or eight dollars. So I'll clean out the insoles and stuff, but that should be a good little flip there. So hopefully tackle that and the Xbox stuff. And maybe we'll get into the rest of this. I'll show it off a little bit later. Um, but yeah, that's the goal for today. So... Let's get to work on some game listing. So I ended up getting the Xbox all done. Everything worked fine. Um, all the games but two were worth at least 10 bucks to sell on eBay or Amazon. I think only one went to eBay. Uh, two of them I'm just putting in my trading pile. Then I went to the thrift store and I found this little stack of 
Saw a few sealed Blu-rays, the Star Wars Blu-ray sets. Those are nice. A few DVDs. These were all two apiece. Um, I think a few of like the scissors hand, like I'll only make two bucks after fee, so I'll double up on those. The rest, a bit more. And then potentially something really good was this Minolta Hymatic C camera. Or Hymatic G. Sorry, I can't read. Um, it looked like it's an okay shape. No idea if it works. I'll have to try testing it. And it had the case too, but this is only five bucks. And once with the case, I think I sold, saw sold for like the 60 plus range. So I think I'll see if it looks good. I'll maybe try to sell it untested for like 60 free shipping. Or maybe just to see how much they're going for parts and just sell for as parts because I don't want to sell it as working if I, it's not. And I don't really know much about testing film cameras, but potentially a good find there. Um, I have some more stuff from Goodwill too, but I'm going to list this all, maybe the camera, and then take out this other building Goodwill pile I showed earlier. And then hopefully get to this pawn shop bag of games, which I'll be excited to show you in a little bit. But got to clear this stuff out first. So this is a pawn shop haul I got about two days ago. Um, spent $102 total. Um, everything except for the new gen was or $4, and the new gen was $10. PS2 we got Run Like Hell. Uh, this one's just the manual. Smackdown vs. Raw. I think that one's complete. Star Wars Super Bombad Racing. Sometimes the games you buy are just ridiculous, but that one's complete. Uh, Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. I think I got this for myself because it's not worth a ton, but it just looked kind of all right. So I got it for myself. Shout out the Hedgehog, Simpsons Road Rage, and Legend of Spyro New Beginning. This one just covers in a little rough shape. Uh, for Xbox, we got Bloodstone, Sonic Generations, Rock Band Country Pack, Track Pack 2, Enchanted Arms. I think I have this one already, otherwise, I grab that. And then the Dreamcast Collection. And then for PS3, we got Minecraft, Mortal Kombat Complete, need a new case on that one. Uh, TMM, TMNT, Danger of the Ooze, and Green Day Rock Band Plus. That is a bolo as far as the music game is concerned. <laughs> uh, one Wii U game, Batman Armored City, Arkham City Armored Edition. Um, not worth a ton, but I I have the same feeling for watching other people too. Wii U games are going to just rise up in price eventually. Because it didn't sell well, didn't make a lot of it. They're going to be not quite to like GameCube levels, but like eventually they're going to be pretty expensive. So figure I'd grab that, maybe sell that, maybe keep that for myself too. Um, copy of Wii Sports, always need these for bundling with Wii's. This one was complete, so that's fantastic. Let me just throw on the floor, perfect. <laughs> then for Xbox One, we got Minecraft, and PS4, we got Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. So, 102 and all of that, I think I should easily get close to 2 250 after fees. Um, some of them will be slower sellers, like that Run Like Hell and that Star Wars Super Bombad, and the Wii U game maybe. But some of these, yeah, like the Rock Band is about like 30 on eBay. It goes for more on Amazon, but really slow rank, so I'm going to just put it on eBay. Um, and yeah, all the good stuff, and the Wii Sports always need these. So now, I finished the pawn shop bundle, and I'm still feeling good, so I'm going to work on this X other Xbox One bundle. This one is from a Switch Lite trade, so it's got the system, power cable, and two controllers. One being the Halo 5 controller, I believe. I'll look this up, but I'm sure these are probably going for a decent amount. Um, I'm going to make sure it works and try to clean it up a little bit, but good little find there. And then the games, we got GTA 5. I put that in the system to download. Man, 16, probably not worth anything. Halo 5, okay. Timefall 2, probably not great. Fallout 4, a little something. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. This one is has like this edition on the disc. Usually most special editions, it's just a download code, but I'm thinking since the disc says it, it probably is good. So I'll count, that'll be good. Destiny is worthless. Mass Effect, probably not good. Call of Duty is usually worth a little something. Black Ops 4 and World War 2. Overwatch, like this is what I'm saying, so it says, oh no, this one's also Game of the Year edition on the disc, so, cool. Uh, Destiny 2, also not worth much. Man 15, pretty sure not worth anything. Minecraft, always worth something. And Call of Duty again, so, I think, uh, I did, there's a PS2 pun bundle with the Switch, now it's into the Switch for about 350 um, because I... 
there was some deal at GameStop where you got like a game discounted. So I picked up a game I wanted for myself and just added that cost to the Switch. So I should eventually get it for free. But yeah, I'm $270 left and I have that stuff and then this Xbox 360 stuff, which I'll show later because I want to get into that. But yeah, we're going to hopefully get all this done and then maybe call it a day, but we'll see after that. So my internet's really bad, and every Xbox One game I try to test has like a download, so it's always really slow to test these, but I have all the games besides GTA V listed or separated, and I have I had none of the controllers tested, but the system seems to be working, I read the disc, get connected to the internet, and all that's fine, so we'll test the controllers and finish wrapping this up probably tomorrow, it's getting kind of late, so I think I'm done with the listing today. So, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, vlog about what is going on and what I'm doing. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully I'll have this edited and uploaded, and then I'll show you uh, kind of the same things. Any new eBay orders I have, I think I have five so far to ship tomorrow, and then hopefully finish up this Xbox, and then deal with what I got at Goodwill today. I got uh, some decent stuff, which I'll show off then. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, yeah, hope you have a good one. Peace out.